Hello everyone, today we'll be looking at how to assess for dehydration. So how do you assess for dehydration? Um, first you can ask if they have reduced urine output. Um, so in general, uh, when you have uh, reduced urine output, it indicates that you are dehydrated because you have to have enough water intake to have um, enough urine output so if you don't take in enough water you will have uh, reduced urine output that's a, uh, in general uh, especially for children because uh, the children uh, can't get like um, babies can't get water on their own so if they are urinating less that means they are not taking in enough milk or fluids right and another uh, Another mechanism of uh, urine output, uh, reduced urine output indicating dehydration is by the some diseases, some conditions where the water goes into the third space. So your fluids in your body goes into a third space. Uh, for example, it, uh, one of them is dengue. So fluid leaves your cells and then it goes into... Um, other places like your lungs or your um, peritoneum yeah these are third spaces and you will be dehydrated in these cases and one of the exceptions that you have increased urine output is for example you have uh, you have you are taking diuretics let's say uh, taking drugs that increase your urine output so you'll be dehydrated also but that in this case you have increased urine output so this is an exception but most of the time uh, when urine output is low it means they are not taking enough fluids or fluids in flowing into their third space and hence they are dehydrated right second you look Look at the overall person, does he look well? Dehydrated people don't look very well. And in children, um, you will be able to see this thing here, mottled skin, if they are in shock. So there are three uh, stages of dehydration. Uh, one is, uh, the first one is normal, I think. The second one is clinic, uh, clinically dehydrated. And the third one is uh, in shock, right? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong and after that you can examine the patient so in examination is uh, easy if you think about what happens when our body actually gets dehydrated uh, firstly you have uh, decreased hydration of your cells and tissues and secondly you have uh, decreased uh, decreased blood volume in your vessels because your blood is mostly made of uh, water as well. So when you have dehydration, less hydration in the cells and tissue and less blood. Right, so what happens when you have less hydration of your cells and tissues? Um, you can look at their eyes, around their eyes, in your, their periorbital area, you can see that it's sunken because uh, there's not enough water there and also you can see look at their lips and ask them to open their mouth and look inside their mouth look at their tongues and their um, mucous membranes and you can see that it's dry and also uh, you can check their skin so our skin needs to be hydrated to remain turgid so when it's dehydrated it loses that skin turgor and um, you can assess this by uh, pulling up their skin and then uh, observing how long it takes to uh, return to its normal position right uh, in adults you can do this on your arms and in children you usually do this on their bellies right uh, secondly we're gonna look at decreased blood volume uh, so what happens when you have decreased blood volume first of all your body is very smart it tries to compensate about uh, with the reduced blood volume so you have increased heart rate to compensate for this reduced blood volume so increased heart rate is tachycardia and also you'll be breathing faster tachypnea uh, 
so obviously when you have reduced blood volume uh, each pulse even when you have tachycardia each heartbeat will uh, push less volume of blood so you have reduced pulse volume so it, it feels weak and thready pulse right um, and then uh, once your when your body cannot compensate anymore you will have increased capillary refill time so uh, significant increase significantly increased capillary refill time is a capillary refill time of more than two seconds and also um, what what is capillary refill time actually is uh, assessing the how well your blood is perfusing uh, your fingertips and so if if it's not perfusing your uh, fingers well uh, it's obvious that you'll feel, feel cool right that's because there's no blood flowing there so your you have cool paraphrase as well right and then uh, lastly uh, once uh, your your body will actually um, try to compensate as hard as they can uh, so tachycardia is the first one and also your blood pressure uh, blood uh, vessels will constrict to prevent the fall in blood pressure but if you detect reduced blood pressure it means they are in decompensated shock so they can't compensate anymore right and it's quite dangerous and that's all I have for you uh, thank you